Hey guys, welcome back to another quick and dirty bait talk video. This week, I'm going over the spinner bait. Spinner bait, no secret, it's been out for a long time, but this thing, I feel like sometimes it doesn't get used enough. I am guilty of that. I there's a while there where I didn't use it for a few quite a few years, and I thought, you know, it's windy out. Sometimes water clarity isn't that great. Let's just give it a shot. And I just hammered them. My favorite color for a spinnerbait is actually this white chartreuse color. And I don't know what it is about it, you know, maybe for, you know, for shad, right? But so there's sometimes where I fish in systems, water systems, where the bait fish aren't this colored. So I don't know what it is, but it works. Other colors work too, don't get me wrong. Bluegill colors, just, you know, quite a few different colors that you can throw the spinner baits. This one, it does happen to be my favorite, favorite color to throw. I've caught a lot of fish on this color and in rivers and lakes, just kind of all around. And th this one actually is kind of a heavy one. This is a three quarter ounce. And I don't typically throw a three quarter ounce. I usually, uh, I will if I'm gonna go deeper, but I'm usually throwing about three eighths to half ounce spinner bait. Probably about more of a half ounce because I don't, I wanna, sometimes I wanna burn it. A three eighths will ride up to the top of the water column too much. But this bait, you can thread on and sometimes I sometimes I recommend it. Just thread on a piece of plastic, a small swim bait, or like um, you know, j just something on there. I I usually throw on just like a swim bait. I don't really do a craw trailer on these. Um, I will throw on some kind of like a oh, like the ten thousand fish Yoda one that I talked about in the other video, one of the other videos, something like that, just to kind of help it. So and, and I feel like for me. It's, it, it does give a little bit more of a target towards that hook, but it also, for me, I feel like, and I don't know this for sure, that when the fish goes and bites it, it's not just biting on metal, you know, biting, it's not just biting metal, it's getting some kind of like meat, it feels like to them. You know, the plastic kind of feels like meat. So I feel like that helps them hang on to it just a little bit longer in order for me to set the hook and get a good hook set into them. These baits, I'm gonna throw these just about anywhere. My favorite way to throw them is weed edges and in sparse weed cover. And you can throw them over rocks and boulders too. Works out great like that. You can try to throw them in around pads, but they, I, I don't I don't recommend going in the pads just because this wire, if you get hung up, this wire is just gonna bend and you're just gonna, it's just gonna, it's just gonna rip off. And then you lose the fish and your spinner bait. I do like, however, um, throwing these around docks. Love throwing spinner baits around docks or any kind of like a you know like a um, a wall or you know anything kind of like that a barrier and around trees. I love throwing these around trees. They work great around trees and docks and very ear retrieved too with them and and figure out what what it is that you what what part of the water column you want. So if you want to go deeper, if you still want to reel faster, use a heavier one. If you want to slow roll, use a lighter one. And then that way you can slow roll it and still keep it in the, in the water column you, you want. Spinnerbaits catch all kinds of fish. Large mouth, small mouth. Yeah, small mouth will hit a spinnerbait this big. I've caught them. Uh, mostly in a river system, but that's okay. It worked. And then, of course, Northern Pike are gonna bite it. I've even caught a walleye on a spinnerbait, which is really weird, but why not? I mean, they're thinking as bait fish. And if they're hungry enough, they're gonna chase it down and, and eat it. So guys, a spinnerbait is one of the most versatile baits, not most, but one of, you know, one of the top versatile baits. It's near the top of the list to throw around. And I've thrown it in a lot of different conditions, even conditions where they said it wasn't gonna work. And I've caught fish on it. So don't ever count spinnerbait, bring it back into your box and onto your, and into your life and your fishing, fishing world and get out there and catch some fish. You guys, this is gonna do it for this week's Quick and Dirty Bait Talk video. The spinner bait. It's hard to go wrong with it, especially in the wind. It's gonna be your friend when the wind is not your friend. Well, technically the wind is your friend because it, sometimes it's, it is, it is, you do catch some more fish in the wind depending on where you're at. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you need a windblown bank. Anyways, thanks for watching this week's Quick and Dirty Bait Talk video. We'll catch you next one.